Hello everyone, welcome to Abhipedia. My name is Abhishek Sharma and today we are analyzing the current unemployment trends in Indian economy. And as you know, there was a PLFS survey which was re recently conducted in 2017. And as per this survey, the unemployment rate in India has come out to be alarming 6.1%, which is the highest uh, since 1977-78. And uh, in this, we have come to know that the number of unemployed in India have gone up to 28.5 million people. And uh, if you go on to the last survey that was conducted about 10 years back, that uh, at that point of time, it was 10.5 million. So this is a very alarming situation in India right now with the on one side we talk about demographic dividend and the other side people being unemployed that means that demographic dividend is not going to come so why is such a situation happening in india right now why such a large unemployment rate has happened in india uh, this is a situation that we are be, uh, we will be discussing in this video there are three major reasons apart from the usual reasons that you come across in the textbooks uh, with respect to un uh, unemployment. So these three unusual reasons are uh, the focus point for us. So first uh, unusual reason for India is the structural change in the economy. Essentially, there is a lot of economic transaction transition happening from primary to secondary to tertiary sector right now within our economy. So as the labor force migrates or intends to migrate from agriculture or farm to non-farm activities, industry, services, and so on, at that point of time, definitely there is going to be some increase in unemployment. So that structural transformation is going to cause the unemployment. This is happening in India right now. As per the survey conducted by an NGO, Lokniti, most of the farmers today don't want to continue farming. They want to quit it and move on to industry or services sector where there is a higher possibility of economic growth. So around 70% of the farmers uh, voted in favor of going out of the agriculture. This negative sentiment that prevails in the farming community today is essentially responsible for increasing unemployment because before this we couldn't uh, witness these people outside the employment spectrum. So now they are being witnessed since they are trying to move out of it. Moreover, a lot of disguised unemployment used to happen in the agriculture sector. Now since these people are moving out to industry and services, that disguise is also no longer happening and is being taken away progressively. Now, second reason that we can talk about is education and skills. See, unemployment is essentially the gap between the demand and supply of employment. So with people becoming more educated, more skilled, the demand for employment is going to increase within the economy and the government's initiatives with respect to right to education, skill India and so on is going to increase the employment demand and uh, if that much is not the supply, definitely then education and skill can itself lead to higher unemployment rates as are being witnessed right now. Yes. Then the third reason is urbanization. See, uh, urbanization, though we consider that only 33% of India is urban and the rate of urbanization is slow, but yet if you would uh, come to the statistical part of it, then a lot of uh, new urban townships and so are being developed as the real estate sector has been booming in Indian economy. So because of that, there has been a progressive pace of urbanization. Though those uh, semi-urban kind of townships which are coming up, they don't have the employment avenues beyond basic construction activity or real estate sector, yet they are creating an urban landscape and they are creating a rising middle class and they are creating youth that are looking for higher employments or better employments so because of that, there is again an unemployment increase in India. So these three are the uh, factors which are upcoming in the recent trends uh, in the unemployment. And these have been already uh, been uh, taken into notice by Niti Aayog's panel as well. So these three uh, are the new things that you have to prepare for the uh, trends within the unemployment rate in India. Thank you so much. Rest is very simple. You always had to work about the... Uh, you know, underemployment and uh, education policy and all the basic reasons that you have been studying at the NCRT level. Uh, I hope this lecture adds on these three reasons to your research so that you can write your answers in a better way. Three extra points in UPSC count for one extra mark at least. So hope you get that one extra mark by watching this video and adding to your uh, series of points. Thank you so much. Uh, this is me, Abhishek Sharma, signing off. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and 
press the bell icon so you get the alerts for the next video as well. Thank you. All the best.